In this video, we will demonstrate how to post a document in financial accounting. As we have shown you in Chapter 2 already, the transaction to post a document is found in the menu tree via Accounting, Financial Accounting, General Ledger, Document Entry, Enter GL Account Document. Alternatively, you can as well enter transaction code FB50 in the command field. In this example, we are posting a consumption of raw materials. This means we are reducing the value of the raw material stock account and at the same time increase the value of the raw material consumption account. In the language of financial accountants, this means we credit the raw material stock account and debit the raw material consumption account. In addition to the account information and the amount to be posted, we will also have to specify the company in which this posting takes place, the date of the posting, and the currency. In this transaction, the first thing we have to enter is the date information, the document date and the posting date. The document date is the date when the posting actually took place, in this case when the material consumption actually occurred. The posting date, on the other hand, specifies to which financial period and fiscal year the document belongs. This is important information for the financial closing. Both dates can differ from each other, for example when the document was entered a day after the actual consumption occurred. The currency for this transaction is Euro, E-U-R, because the company in our example is located in Germany. How does the system know that the company is in Germany? In fact, there can be thousands of different companies in one SAP system. For each of them, you have to maintain a code with a set of basic settings, such as the location, address, and currency. This code is called a company code in SAP and is part of the organizational structure you have to maintain for your SAP system. In fact, you have to define all your required organizational units before you can start posting. We will explain organizational units in more detail in Chapter 4. For the time being, we will just assume that we have already created a company code called MM01, which is located in Munich, Germany, and therefore uses the euro as its currency. Once you have entered the date and currency, you must specify the financial accounts you want to post to. An account is the basic entity in financial accounting to capture and classify value flows. Each account comes with a unique number and a description and belongs to exactly one company code. As opposed to a company code, an account is not an organizational unit. There can be hundreds of accounts in a company. An account is a master data entity, a concept we will explain further in Chapter 5. For now, we will simply use some accounts already existing. In our example, we are posting between the accounts for material stock and material consumption, so we first enter the two corresponding account numbers. As we pointed out before, the reduction of stock is considered a credit to the stock account and debit to the material consumption account. In column DC, which stands for debit credit, we choose for each line the corresponding entry credit for the stock account, and debit for the material consumption account. In the next column, we enter the posting amount for each account. In Amount Information, we can check if our total debit equals our total credit. Remember, debit must always equal the credit in a financial document. This is the case in our example, so we can post a document using the Save button. The system confirms this with an information message at the bottom of the screen. Via the menu entry, Document, Display, you can take a look at the document you just posted and check if everything is OK. This takes us to the end of our demonstration. You have learned how to enter a document in financial accounting and how to display it once it is posted.